Hello, today we'll be demonstrating a simple City of San Jose online permit services subtrades permit for a single family residential. The easiest way to locate online permits is to type in sjpermits.org and this will take you to online permit services. From there you can go to login or register. And this is where you'd normally enter in your email and password. For today's demonstration, I'll be using a test area. And I'm going to enter in the test email address and password and sign in. All right, from the My Services screen, you'll be able to access public information search on other permits or properties. You can update your personal information, which is critical for businesses and contractors to include their tax license or contractor's class and license number. Uh, you'll be able to apply for new permits, make payments, manage inspections, etc. And for today's demonstration purposes, we're going to focus on applying for a new permit. Below that section are folder details, personal information, and the ability to sign out here. Property owners will have slightly different options. This particular demonstration is for a Class B contractor. I'll click Apply for a new permit. Select the application group. Currently, the only division with online permits is Building Division. One and two family residential, single family, subtrades only. When we hit subtrades only, a sub menu will show up with available online permits. I'm going to go ahead and open that link. And in this tab, we can see a list of the subtrade type permits that customers can obtain. These are based on whether or not the applicant is a property owner or a contractor and restrictions are in place based on contractor license classes. Returning to the application process, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. On this page here, I'm certifying whether or not any of these items are true for this particular project. In this case, my work doesn't involve any of these. Here's where you'd select the property. In this case, I'm going to select a random property. And I'll select the first one that comes up in the examples. On this screen here, it's requesting a unit number. If your address has a unit number that is not included as part of this address here, you should add the unit number. Here's where we make our subtrade selections. As you can see, the list that we saw available online is fully available here to the B-Class contractor and would be fully available the same way for a property owner. For a quick search of what you need, you can type it in here. Say I want a water heater and a furnace. And that's what we need today. I'll review the list. I've got two items. I'll hit next. A fixture has been added. And it's necessary to click OK once for each fixture that has been added. Now we've reached the Terms and Conditions screen. This page contains important detailed records about your permit. There's many, many fields that have information that can maybe input. For today's demonstration, I'm going to strict, strictly to the required fields that are mandatory. I'm going to go through the owner, contractor, at the workers' compensation declaration section, I'll select the most common option and certify, license class, certify, and the smoke alarm certification. Please read through those details and update them for your specific project. 
At this point, I have the option to cancel. I can print these. I can also agree in order to continue. From here, I'll be able to see the invoice that's been generated for this particular project, which is a water heater and furnace change out with these subtrades. <clears throat> we can see our plumbing and mechanical uh, inspection fees that are included here, the other fees. I'm going to go ahead and click Pay Fees. If you're unsure, you can go ahead and click Pay Later at that time and save that permit and review it at a later date. Now I've selected right off the bat to pay by credit card. I've reviewed my options here and I'll be using that option. Okay. We need to make sure that the billing information matches what is on the account. It's going to be the credit card account. Test account. All right, at the end of the permit process, you should receive a final screen that allow you to go back to My Services, view your invoice, or your job card. You may also proceed directly to Managing Inspections. For this particular demonstration, I'll return to My Services. And at My Services, we can see the permit that we just completed is under inspection. From the detail screen for this permit, You may also access any documents that may be associated with that in imaging, for example, your inspection records after inspections. You may also view your job card and invoices or receipts. In this demonstration, I will not actually display the job card because it would not be accurate for this particular transaction. Thank you.